there's this bubble trend floating around the internet. It's kind of vintage and it gained popularity again. And I'm also into bubble letters. It's one of my favorites. So today I'm going to show you how to do it with a special technique that I got inspired from Manaceto type. You can check out his channel and then we're going to turn it into 3D bubbles with a special method that I just discovered here in Illustrator. All right, step one, let's select the type tool. I gotta type in learn again, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it up. Let's go to properties and I gotta add a lot of distance in between the letters, change up the font. I gotta go with next bold, something a little bit more wider. Right click, create outline. I gotta recolor it with something light. And on this, I gotta paint the bubble letters and I gotta select the paint brush, switch it up to black and I gotta paint on the letter. As you can see, it is going to correct itself and it's going to make it more curvy. In order to make it function like this, all you need to do is double click on the brush and push up the fidelity all the way to smooth. Click OK. Of course, this is going to work differently if you're using a mouse, but I found it really interesting. So anyways, so there's a lot of errors going on, but we're going to fix that. I'm going to delete the sans serif font and I'm going to select, for example, the letter E and I'm going to go to the Pathfinder, click on Unite. This is going to fix these lines here. If you don't have the Pathfinder, you can go to Windows, select the Pathfinder and you also can re-edit. You can see some of the letters are not that rounded. It contains quite a bit of anchor point. So all you need to do is select the pen tool, press the minus, or you can go, I don't use these by the way, I don't have it. So this is what you need. This is the pen tool minus delete anchor point tool. But I work with the shortcut with the minus and all you need to do is press and hold shift and click on one of the anchor points and it's going to disappear and it's still going to be pretty much rounded. And for example, I'm gonna remove this also and still become pretty rounded, which is really nice. And this way it's more easier to customize also the letters. And this is how they look refined. I'm gonna make two copies and on the first option, I'm gonna assemble them together without any 3D effects. And there you go. You also can add the fill, click on the fill, select the color orange and you can reposition the letters right click arrange bring to front you can right click arrange send back the letter a and position them nicely this would be the two dimension i'm also going to add some shadows i'm going to press and hold alt drag it this is going to create a copy and i'm going to select the fill click on the black right click arrange send to back and it's going to look some like this all right now we're going to create that 3d effects i'm going to swap it from stroke to fill i'm going to recolor it with magenta and i'm going to place them near each other select all right click group let's go to the 3d materials click on inflate i'm going to activate the ray tracing and also click on inflate both sides so because we grouped it you can see these are melting together which creates a really interesting effect and the next thing i did i selected and i increased the perspective and look what it's doing it's twisting the letters outwards from the left and the right. You also can customize these. You can double click and you can select. You can see how it is melting still when you're pulling. And it creates this liquid effect. If you want to increase the resolution of your 3D text effect, you can click on the upper right corner to check out that tutorial as well. So far, this was it. Thanks for watching.